you've accomplished something that I don't think most people realize. When you start a product or do a company, what people always tell you is you should start with the most expensive, and if you have to, you can cut price. You actually literally have done something I can't recall, maybe you can help me, where you started with a lower price product and now you've been able to raise price. How was that possible? Does that have to do with quality, with demand, with sales, with advertising? Because it's an extraordinary feat. Well, thank you. I, our mission is to bring the best of beauty and make it accessible to every eye, lip, and face. And that's what their entire company is focused on. We love bringing products you previously could only find in prestige at these extraordinary values and then engaging our community in them. And it's really resulted in our success. I'm proud of our team. This is our 12th consecutive quarter of net sales growth and taking up our full year guidance yet again, I think is a testament to what we're doing. Now, how did this happen? When the brand came out, I, I viewed it as a discount brand. And then uh, I now know, I mean, for instance, I, look, I'll use the example of my wife. She's very interested and conscious of, of cosmetics. And, and I saw it on, on, in our bathroom. I said, well, I, Elf, she goes, you know, that's a, that is a very good brand that's a little less expensive than the other brands. And so you've managed to be able to make it so people don't think your, your brand is a discount at all. That's another amazing feat that you have. You know, it is. And I, I think it all comes down to our innovation and what we're able to do. Things like our Power Grip Primer, which we just introduced. Yes. Retails for $10, but it compares to prestige items at $34. And our consumers are super savvy and they understand the difference in terms of being able to give them that level of quality at that level of value. I think has been a big driver of our success. At the same time, you are noted as being one of the 15 brands that are doing the best, most engaging, entertaining work on the platform of the day, TikTok. You get great results return on investment from TikTok, don't you? You know, we do. It's a powerful platform for us, mainly because that's where our core consumers, Gen Z, live. And the way we approached the platform when we first started working with them a few years ago is we created our own original music track, did a hashtag challenge, saw billions of views from that. Even more recently, in the last few weeks, we've partnered with Simon Fuller, the creator of American Idol, to find a new pop group on TikTok, The Future X. And we just did another hashtag challenge just a one week ago uh, to find makeup artists that are going to work with that group. And in one week, we're already up over 8 billion views. So it shows the level of engagement our consumers have and really combining two things they love, music and makeup. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.